Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rare. I'm making another video right away. Well, I just wanted to show you guys um, and I guess talk about the 4x4 system and this Ram 1500 2021 Limited. I just gotta say, like, hands down, it is so good. I have stock tires, literally everything is stock, and it handles like a champ. I'm going uphills, downhills with no problems at all. Like, I'm in four auto right now, four-wheel drive auto, and it's doing great. Like, I literally can't slip. Even in two-wheel drive, I really don't slip that much. Four low, it's such a phenomenal beast. It's great, but, um, yeah, I just want to give you guys like a quick little vlog about it and uh, also talk about some more problems that I've been having with my truck. So last video, I told you guys about my windshield, how there's like a leak and they were saying that, oh, it's from the, the side mirrors and all of them are the same. And I said, no, I test drove like four, four, three or four uh, Ram 1500s, you know, and it definitely does not act like this. There's no, the sound is, it's just, no, you're wrong. And um, yeah, that got, yeah, that was stupid. He said uh, he was, he's gonna fix it and he like acknowledged that it was the windshield. So there was that. So the windshield, the uh, they I paid for per permaplate. It was like $6.99 for permaplate. He said it's gonna, you know, that's gonna cover permaplate and some other stuff. And I was like, okay, I got it. Cause you know, permaplate is, is, I, you know, I work at a dealership and we saw a demonstration. It works really well. like. Don't think, you know, the only two things that you should ever get warranty wise is one is uh, permaplate. It has, it is actually really good. I, I saw it firsthand, hands down. Even if you guys don't buy from me, it is a great thing to put on your vehicle. Permaplate and um, gap insurance. Those are like the two things you should always buy. But other than that, um, the windshield, they said they put on permaplate and I said, no, you didn't. I could feel it and it, he didn't put on permaplate and he was saying oh, I'll tell him to put another shot of it on no, that's not how it works it's just the one-time application you could feel it and I definitely don't feel it you know so he lied about that um, so they gotta put the permaplate I asked him for an itemized receipt on that one so I have a record of that uh, what's next the air conditioning it gets hot right so it's good on the heat but I didn't realize that I put it on cold because, you know, I got really hot in the car. And when I did that, it would still blow pretty hot air. And it got a little bit colder, but it wasn't really that great. Even when I put it in the low setting all the way down, it would still blow like hot air. And that was kind of annoying. I was burning up, so I had to roll my windows down in the snow. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a bunch of flakes everywhere. And uh, it's snowing pretty bad over here in Nashville, Tennessee. So, yeah, that was really annoying. And I called the dealership, got on the phone with the general sales manager, and he said he's going to take care of me and all whatever. Um, hopefully he does. And then uh, the other thing, I guess, make sure, if you guys do buy a brand new car, please do this. Like, I told my, uh, my salesman, said hey there's scratches on the vehicle and there, obviously there's touch-up hand right here you guys are gonna like you know actually fix that right and he said uh he said yeah you know we'll put some touch-up paint wait wait i said wait a minute I said nick that's not no you don't put touch-up paint on a brand new car like this you know this is a seventy thousand dollar truck you don't do that you know even on a twenty thousand dollar car a brand new car you know it's still a brand new car so you gotta you know take good care of your vehicles you know when i sell cars if something's you know i look for imperfections if i see one i point it out and i say hey i don't know if you notice the spot i'll take care of you don't worry about that but he was like he's got to put touch up paint whatever i said no that's not gonna happen so i'm gonna get that repainted they put touch up paint it was, it was a really bad job and uh it's, you could see it clear as day and whenever you know the snow goes away and I'll show you guys like me washing my video, my truck and stuff like that I'll show you guys but yeah it was really bad so I'm gonna tell them to fix that on the door panel and there's scratches on the side of the bed so yeah that, that was uh, another issue that I had what else I got I cleared I got the windshield the uh, oh yeah the 12 screen it is phenomenal it is 
like it's crazy good it's cool but sometimes like at the bottom here it'll say that there's some type of like serious xm error or something that's really annoying that's more of a bug than anything but it's not it doesn't really bother me that much because i don't really notice it too much but yeah that the air conditioning um the windshield for sure that's the thing that when i first bought the truck i didn't test drive it completely and i uh, didn't notice it till I drove off, signed and drove off, and it just sounded like crap. So make sure if you guys do buy a Ram 1500, make sure that you go at highway speeds, turn down the volume, tell the salesman to shut up, uh, turn down the air conditioning, everything, and just listen. And make sure you guys don't hear that humming because it is it'll drive you literally insane, and it drives me insane. So I have to play music all the time or whatever, you know. I'll try to get it on video, but I don't know if I can. I'm gonna turn this off. Do you guys hear that? I think I might have to go a little faster, but there's like, there's a car in front of me, so I really can't right now. You guys hear that little wind noise? It is absolutely annoying. Like, it drives me insane and i know at first i was like yeah it's whatever you know but it after a while it does drive me freaking crazy so yeah those are like the main issues that i've come across uh owning this i've literally owned it for a week and two days or something like that now yeah it's it's wednesday right it's wednesday so a week and a day you know so literally eight days so yeah it uh those are some of the issues that I've been definitely coming across. But other than that, this truck mechanically, it has been freaking phenomenal. Even with the stock tires. I know a lot of people talk crap about the stock tires and whatever. Like, yes, I'm going to put, you know, my tires and change those out and whatever. But honestly, the stock tires that come with this truck, it is actually really good. I think I'm running 20, I'm on 22s anyways. So, yeah, it's it's a great truck. It, the four low four high four auto it literally works never kick out even when i want to kick out it doesn't kick out and it'll let you know if it doesn't like what you're doing and it'll you know it'll tell you but it does the brakes don't lock up on me like most other cars do so yeah it's a phenomenal piece of machinery for sure but yeah guys i'll catch you guys on the next video and um i'll let you guys know if uh what happens with uh with my vehicle and give you guys an update shortly all right drive safe be careful and uh, i'll see you guys next time before i go see look at that i'm literally going 42 right now and four wheel drive auto and it's like it's just handling like like a champ it's crazy yeah guys i'll see y'all later